Hey guys, Proper English here. As I'm sure many of you already know, we've got this cool new feature in Redstone. It came out in today's snapshot, and this thing rocks. It's a way of doing some compact memory, and this is a D flip flop like memory. So the way this works is if you have this guy on, well, it's not doing anything right now. That's because this repeater over here is powering this repeater, and it's holding it in its current state, okay? So as long as this repeater's on, this guy isn't going to change state. But what we can do is we can flip this lever, so we give an input over here. And now when we clock it, well now this repeater turns on. We can turn this off and this repeater stays on for as long as this repeater is powering it. All right, and so we can clock it again. And now we saved an off state. So that is pretty cool. Now the question is, well, what can we do with this? So what I've done over here is I've taken this setup over here and made some memory. So let's take a look at that. All right, so I've got some too wide memory over here, but it's kind of tall. Well, it's kind of tall for a reason, and that's because I wanted to make this one long. That's what I was going for here, ultra thin memory. And I've got it, it's pretty cool. So we can take a look at how I did this. So I've got an upper memory cell and a lower row of memory cells, and they're controlled by two separate lines. The upper row is controlled by this torch over here. So send a line through this whole thing and it's powering the sideways repeaters, which holds this one off until we pulse it. Now with the lower repeaters, I'm using a torch, hits this block, hits the repeater, and hits that repeater, and there we go. And so each one of the lower memory cells has a torch in there. And so when I pulse this, actually let's add some data in here. We'll turn this guy on, how about that guy? And I'll come over here, I'll send a pulse through. And so now we can see that we've got some outputs on. Can turn these guys off. And there we go, we saved it. Pretty cool. And so yeah, this thing is, is pretty neat. I'm gonna be using this in some builds without a doubt. I'll also be designing some other memory using the same kind of concepts but maybe a little bit longer for other situations, something a little bit more flat, because, you know, you, uh, you never know what you're going to need. This is just one way of doing it. There are tons of ways to do this, and I'd encourage you to experiment. Now, one thing to note is I've synced it up over here, so I've added this extra repeater, because, so we've got two ticks up here. That's because down here we've got one tick in this repeater and one tick in this torch. You'll see some other designs that don't need that, the thing is, this actually doesn't make any difference for the overall speed because when I'm using this in a larger build, I'll be clocking it, and all I have to do is send the signal a little bit earlier than I would have otherwise. So we just work that delay into part of the clock cycle. And uh, yeah, so this is my new memory design, and I hope you like this. So play around with this. You can come up with some really cool stuff. And, uh, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone comes up with with this new feature. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.